Hey there, YouTube. Let me introduce you uh, uh, a crowd-pleasing favorite. Um, lots of people out there like stouts. Lots of people out there like chocolate. This one's kind of uh, a combination of two great things. Young's Double Chocolate Stout, imported from Britain. Looking at the top of the bottle, it says, Chocolate malt and real dark chocolate are combined with Young's award-winning rich dark beer to craft a uh, to craft a satisfyingly indulgent but never overly sweet experience. Yeah. Um, two point, uh, sorry, 5.2% ABV. It's a pretty good beer. Mm, it's a stout with chocolate flavor. Flavor served chilled. It's pretty cold right now. Yeah. All right. Let's give it a try. Pop it open here. Got the nice gold colored Young's cap. That's actually a nice looking cap. Nice looking bottle. Pour it out in my uh, Clancy's glass. You can tell right away it's a very dark appearance beer. Just dump that in there. Table, whatever. I'm gonna wear one figure ahead. Well, my head's kind of coarse, almost completely opaque. You can see a very deep ruby red appearance down at the very bottom. Yeah, that's a nice looking beer. Although I have my doubts that that head's gonna stay around, but whatever, it's there for appearances. Getting right to the smell. You can smell like a powdery chocolate, dark chocolate, like a semi-sweet chocolate kind of thing. Like a, it's got the kind of smell of like cocoa powder, and uh, yeah, it's it smells nice. Uh, yeah, it smells nice. Yeah, it's. Uh, Hmm. Let's give it a shot. Let's give it a taste here. Ooh. Oh. Oh my. Hmm. That's nice. Have you ever had like a dark chocolate bar? Do you, if you're ever into like bittersweet chocolate, this is a beer for you. This is uh, it tastes just like drinking a dark chocolate bar. Roasty, very roasty malts. It's got a a nice dark bittersweet chocolate taste to it, and it's slightly bitter in the back of the throat. It's not the smoothest stout in the world. It's not the creamiest, but it's got a nice heavy body. It goes down pretty good. It finishes off dry. That's really nice. Yeah, that's that's really good. Um, We're gonna measure it up the likes against it, uh, against the likes of like Guinness or uh, or O'Hara's or any other kind of stout. So I mean, it leaves something to be desired. It's not quite as as heavy or quite as uh, crisp. Or not sorry, not crisp. Um, as um, as creamy. But the big thing about this beer is that it tastes like chocolate, and that's exactly what it does. It's not sweet too much, anyway. There's hardly any sweetness. It's mainly just dark chocolate coffee notes in the taste and mild bitterness in the back of the tongue as it goes down. Um, yeah, um, I'd recommend it if you can find it. It's not the greatest beer in the world, but a few rarely ever are. Uh, as for the type, um, you wouldn't be sorry if you picked it up to try it. I'm going to give it a 3.5 out of 5. Night.